back. Random TV reviews, your girl and dad. And your boy, Stanley. Before we get into this recap, we have made a playlist of all our prior have and have not reviews, especially those for this season. This season. No, it's, <laughs> it's late, y'all. So go ahead and check that out in the description bar. Get caught up if you haven't done that already. Yes, indeed. We appreciate it. Let's get into this recap. The enemy called trust. trust. Listen, this is what we've been waiting for. I've been waiting yeah. for Bad B Candace to come back. Yeah. <sighs> it's so refreshing yeah. to get her back. Because she, she was a rock waller the last few seasons. She became a little freaking poodle. Yeah. But now the rock waller came back. Rock waller. Fall back. <laughs> Fall back. <laughs> so, only thing I got to say is, listen, Tyler. I don't know what the heck is going on with you and your writing and it's a whole lot of stuff we forgive you for but what I'm not gonna forgive you for is Candace wears this trench coat everywhere she freaking goes yeah we know she's pregnant but listen have you ever heard of um peplum shirts have you ever heard of an oversized sweater um this pocketbook or right in this trench coat that she got pregnant by war. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, that would have been a good right there when when war raped her. Yeah, that would have been a good good one right there. Not not good, but you it's know. It's good for writing. Good for writing. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. So we <laughs> we see <laughs> Demonica and um, what's her name? Catherine. Catherine. They standing up looking at the house just burning down. Both of them got this sneaky look on their face like yes. Maybe he was in there, maybe he wasn't. But here come. They should have started singing, The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. So, next thing we knew, we see um Jim pop up with his trustee, Deacon David. Jim said, What the hell yeah, is y'all doing? Catherine said, Well, I was hoping that you were in there. He said, Wait a minute, what, why are you doing this? Catherine basically said, Look, um, by the advice of our counsel over there, they got a body. Yeah. And um, Demonica said, yes, that means that they have DNA, carpet fibers. They got everything. Jim said, listen, I got, I got all that taken care of. I got all that clean. She said. <laughs> Obviously, she didn't have it because her body ended up down at the radio station. At the TV station. Yeah, at the TV freak station with your name on it. So I said, you know what? Mr. Brute, he won't in that house, y'all. He won't in there with this. Oh, sweet fragrance of brood in there. He won't there. But why was they standing there, y'all? I was sitting there looking at it. I said, why all four of them look like they don't die and they standing there in the lake of fire together? <laughs> just, just in here. Fire hell. and brimstone. Fire and brimstone. All four of them devils mm -hmm. just standing there. Who this? But, but first of all, how is it that you done burnt the house down? You stand out there talking and arguing the whole time and ain't none of the neighbors can call the freaking fire department. And the police, because that's a rich neighborhood. Because you go, man, you even sneeze in a, a freaking rich neighborhood, the police is coming. Like right around the corner. So eventually, Dick and David, with the coolest voice I ever heard, he go call the 911. Tell us, yeah, we got a fire. He going to be smooth with everything, boy. I said, David, for real? No but, urgency in your voice? Man, David can sell you anything. So he did that voice on you, be like, hey, you want to buy these cookies? Well, yeah, I would. <laughs> How many boxes you want? They, they, they gonna make you feel real good. Well, give me ten. They might make you hard. <laughs> I don't have time tonight. Viagra cookies. Goodbye. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so, in, um, over there at the Artesian Hotel, right, so we see the cops leaving out of Candace's room, and at the same time, we got Charles Obama. He's walking up the hallway with Secret Service, all that. Piss. And I'm sitting here like, y'all yeah, don't see them, see them, but anyway. So Charles Obama goes into his um, room with Landon. They closed the door, and Charles Obama said, "Landon, come here. Do you like a job?" He said, "I asked you to help her, not call, call the, the police mm -hmm. on her." He said, "I like." Duh, 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 duh. He said, "Listen, I told you what to do. Do you value this job?" Because you don't made a fatal mistake by basically not doing what I I'm told like, you to do. I'm like, what does that mean? Is his life about the end? So, Landon going to ask him, say, well, what do you see in her? She ain't nothing but some street-level criminal. He said, listen, hmm. I know that women might not be your thing, but don't ever question me about what I like. He said, what if I told you I want nothing but a street-level criminal? 
He said, I wouldn't believe you. He said, you better. You better. Because I am. Landon said, went to go say something else. He said, listen, go ahead and fix that like I told you to. Go and help her. He went to say something else and Charles Obama stepped to him. Alaska looked him right dead in his eyes. And Landon was like, hey, bro, I don't need no trouble. I'm gone. So, See you. at the same time, Charles Obama is talking to Vince and told Vince to say, hey, Keep an eye out for her. Keep the police at bay. When you see her, you let me know. Yeah. Because I may want to see her. But you ain't going to see her right now because Candace over there, she done went over there to the Fountain Drop Hotel to see this boost get for herself. And she really had a real she had a moment, boy. moment where she just yeah. broke down. But that's what I never understood is that her mom will always think that she really didn't love Q. She has got herself in a bad situation where she had to kind of do what she had to do. You know, she made her own bitch and she had to lay in it. But I always saw that she loved oh, Q. Yeah. And she ain't love nobody that she yeah, loved Q she and she loved, loved Benny. So she at the hotel, she's like, God, where are you? Where are you? And I'm sitting here like, yeah, that's one of those moments where you start questioning God. Yeah, Look, like I messed up while my son had right. stuff and I wanted to mess up. One thing that we always say is, Lord, don't touch them goddamn babies. Protect them babies and yeah. you don't protect nothing else. And you know, we not, Get me. I'm yeah. the one that did it. Get did me. It. Yeah, get me. Get me. Yeah. We ain't going to touch on every single because all of it ain't important. It'll probably be important next week, so we'll piggyback and, and do all yeah, that. Yeah, pick all that. Um, yeah. Because we ain't going to talk about why. We ain't going to talk about all that stuff tonight. So, um... Candace eventually gets back to the hotel and she goes right over there to Charles Obama's room banging on the door She can't even look secret service can't even hold her back uh -huh. at this point because she don't click into pure um, Candace mode. Yeah, she don't give a bitch. fuck. Yeah, cuz she even had walked by Demonica down in the hotel lobby Demonica said, oh, I thought I smelled something and she had like she ain't even here And she Jeffrey said went over there actually you all right? No, she didn't even say nothing. I said uh -huh, she the, back. Don't mess with her. Don't yeah. mess with her. So she goes over there and she tells Charles Obama, give me my phones. Give me my phone. So Vincent went ahead and gave the phones up. Yeah, because at first, you know, he was hardcore. Like, I ain't, you ain't getting your phone back. Nah, uh, uh. So the first person she called was Benny. She was like, okay. Got his voicemail because, you know, he's still in jail. So then she calls Erica. Tells Erica, come to my room. I'm at room such and such. Uh-huh. Erica gets on the phone and she calls war. And I said, what you do that for? Because yeah, Bad Bee Candace is on the case right yeah, now. Yeah, she's setting you up. Setting the cards right on up. And you just falling into the goddamn trap. Exactly. So Candace goes ahead and calls Hannah while she waits for Erica to come on up to the room. Calls Hannah. Tell, and Hannah said, I was pissed off by the way she answered that goddamn phone. Me too. What, what you want? What you want? What the hell you think she want? That's your goddamn daughter that on You those. know she don't ever, 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 never, ever, ever call you. So you know she was calling you about her son. But she got her home for us, though. Yeah, she did. So Candace said, Is it true? She said, Yes, it is true. How did it happen? War busted in the room and he started shooting. Candace said, Well, where's my son at? She said, He was in the bathroom. She said, why was he in the bathroom? Hannah said, because I took him in the bathroom. She said, so if you took my son into the bathroom, why didn't you protect him? You should be the one shot up and dead, not my son. You failed to protect my son. You're the one that's supposed to be dead. She ain't and denied. I said, she ain't mm -hmm. denied. Cause she told Candace I was laying on top of the boy. And how I was like, boo, that? skip. Cause you laying on top of the boy, you should have been shot. So they said we know. After she hung up on the phone with her um, mama, she calls Mitch. I said, oh, oh skit. it's about ready to get real now. So Mitch tried to play, play coy a little bit. And she said, Mitch, I already know. He said, okay. Well, Which, what, what you, you want to do? do? She said, I want him dead. I want him dead. Mitch said, listen, just get him to the restaurant. I'll take care of the rest. I said, <laughs> I need him alone. <laughs> On my goddamn team. But see, every time Mitch try not to get in the game, he always get pulled into that booze get. But you know he gonna do it for Candace. If it been Benny, he probably been like, dog, I ain't a part of this game. I think he would have did it for Benny. But I, no, I don't think he, he would. He got have. a soft spot for Candace though. But you mama, Benny was in all that booze get, and he was, t and he told Benny, I ain't with that. Your mama sitting up inside the goddamn shop. Yeah, but he ended up calling grandma, get the phones back on. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah, he got that. When she called, called David. You know that boy, man? That's my grandson. That's my grandson. I'm going to need you to go ahead and put them phones back on. <laughs> the number you've called. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as we know, we see Mitch. He gets on the phone with Tony. He told Tony, he said, listen, 
um, tell grandma that I said we get ready to bring um, war right to her. We're going to deliver right over now. So be ready. No, because I know y'all stay ready. So just get in position. Yeah. I'm going to bring him to you. Tony said, to the new restaurant, Dodo. <laughs> <laughs> and Mitch was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, you know what? Hey, at this point, Grandma don't even care. She, no, she, Tony was like, listen, you don't break up the new stuff, man. <laughs> bring him to the old restaurant at least. <laughs> you know? This is where we really mix our legit. Mm. Look, this is where we clean our money at. Yeah, this we, is where we do. Look, yeah, legit paper come through here. Look, if we learn nothing else from power, we learn that. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have a legit. But business. at this point, Grandma, he, Grandma's like David. I'm gonna show you in me in the likeness <laughs> that you ain't ever seen before at this restaurant. So Tony, in pure mob fashion, you know what? You finally coming into the family, dog. <laughs> See you when you come on through that rust. Mitch ain't denied though. He ain't denied. <laughs> oh God. So Erica finally gets to the room. And Candace is just looking at her. Legs crossed. Pocketbook still on. And she acting like she ain't a dead nothing. She in She scares. I mean, she's shaking in her red Jezebel dress. I said, you know what? She said, Are you with me? Why, yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. Why would you ask me it something like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, now, why did you smell like war? I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I'm I don't not know. around. I don't, I don't know. She said, mm-hmm. You know, I'm scared of him. I'm scared to death of war. I wouldn't be nowhere near him. Candace like, mm-hmm. You know, he killed my son. What? What? He killed your son? Ain't even sound believable. I said, you know what? I, uh, mm -mm. She said, mm-hmm. He's got to die. Mm-hmm. He's got to go ahead and die. So, um, what happened after that? Um, she got on the phone and she called yeah, War. Yeah, she got on the phone. And she called War. And, the, and see, this is where I got to go in Tyler's Hall parts. War don't change his phone number like three times. How did Candace get that number? How, so you, yeah, she just got her phone number? back. Okay, matter, cause matter of fact, when Jim Grim Kyer got when Jim when Jim Cryer got the number and called him on the other phone he had, it so was he hung up, he said, dog, you got to get rid of this phone, give me a new phone. How but did now, she get that number? But now, all of a number? sudden, I mean, do her phone, her contacts update by You himself? know what happened? What? Maybe the Lord gave it to her. The Lord gave it to her. The Lord gave her the number. That's what it was. Yeah. I said, okay, Tyler, we're going to let you slide because we just want to get through a good storyline. See, this is what we got to do. When we dealing with Tyler... Sometimes you just got the, you know how when you're dealing with a liar, like somebody that lies all the time, you just eat the meat and spit out the bones. All yeah. the bullshit is going past your head like this. Pew, 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 mm -hmm. pew. But you looking straight ahead, you just you just know that at some point you're going to get the Ford Motor Company. Yeah. That's that's what we do when we deal dealing with Tyler. You might end up burning all your gas up, but you'll get there. Mm-hmm. So, um, calls on um, war. And she said, you killed my son. He said, oh, no, nah, that was a mistake. You that know? was an accident. <laughs> like, like what? I apologize about that. What's so crazy though, they was freaking childhood, practically brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Ate breakfast at their house and, and got lunch packed. And I mean, they've been tight all this time. And there's this one little deal that she lied to him. He had like, Ain't they, they enemies, they never they kicked it together. And, and you went you, to the fountain drop to yeah, shoot at her, her, her and you mama. Yeah, her mama. The that one fed that, you. Exactly. The Benny, like a brother to you. <sighs> but you know, War's whole angle is he trying to freaking act hard in front of them stupid dudes. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to so that them that dudes, so that them dudes don't think he's soft. That's why he probably won't let them get away with it. That weak spot. Yeah, I gotta show them that nobody can get over on me. So um, you know, War talking to Candace was like, "Hey, where you at?" She told him. She said, I, "Here's the room number." Come on through. I already know you. I already know you know where I'm at. Yeah, I said, <laughs> looking dead in um Erica's mouth. Erica's sitting over there like. <laughs> so he said, "You know you're gonna die tonight, right?" She said, mm -hmm. "Okay, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna be here when you get here." He said, "You not gonna wait for me, baby?" Nope. nope. So he heard. He gets goes ahead and hangs up the telephone. Or Candace hung up the telephone one. Um, Candace said, "Give me your phone, Erica." Eric was like, what? She said, give me your phone. Soon as Candace took the phone from her, her phone started ringing. I saw a skit. More calling. I know number. So she said, uh-uh. Answer it and put it on speaker. But it won't war. He was David. 
He said, hey, Erica, <laughs> I'll give you a call and let you know that I ain't going to be able to make it tonight. Some stuff came up. <laughs> he said, is you busy? She was like, no, I have a friend on the other line. She's having trust issues right now. And she's about to ruin the only real thing that she has going on in her life right now. And what they was like, they was like, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm it. so sorry to hear that. He said, but I'm going to let you go ahead and go back to your friend. I said, you know what? Don't like, talk about Ur that. doing that booski. You don't doing that booski because you're on the phone. Mm -hmm. Say, so Candace ain't buying none of that boo. And she's still looking at her like, mm -hmm. Candace said, you know what? We can ready to go out to dinner. Come on, let's go. I said, and I said, did you mean to take Erica's phone back from her? Because you didn't boo-boo, you didn't boo-boo. But then I said, you know what? That's probably part of the That's plan. part of the plan. And God know that it was part of the plan. So we get over there to the Malone's restaurant. Everybody's sitting there. I mean, it's looking quite, quite legit. You know, I could, I could spot out a little gangster sprinkle here and uh -huh. there. But I said, this look, this, this yeah, look cool. Nice. Yeah, that might be a, might be a uh, Michelin star restaurant. I said, I bet you they got some bomb lasagna up in that piece. Yes, sir. Some goddamn some chicken. Some barbecue Parmesan. chicken. Yeah. No, they ain't got no, they, they ain't. Mm. Macaroni and cheese. No, you, you in the wrong kind of restaurant. But no, nah, but not your regular macaroni and cheese. Don't do I'm it. I'm talking about your gourmet macaroni and cheese. Salad, they not black. That's all right, but they got to they gotta attract the black. So they gotta, they gotta cook, never mind. They gotta put macaroni, see, they ain't gonna be our macaroni and cheese. Don't worry about it, why are you talking about food right now? Because I'm hungry again. Well, we going to bed. Yeah, I'm going to bed though. So while we sitting there, well, while they're standing there waiting to get a table, Erica goes ahead and goes to the bathroom. Which I, which was so dumb. This is her opportunity right here to, to try to prove that she was innocent. I wouldn't have went nowhere. So Mitch walks up on Candace and said, we almost got your table ready. Listen, when you sit down, when everything start popping off, go low and stay low. I'm going to protect you. Um, and she said, yeah, I got a friend with me. He said, who, Erica? He said, oh, you you always had your eye on her. You said you never mm -hmm. could trust her. Yeah. I said, ain't uh -huh. never trust her either. He said, I ain't never trust her either. And she said, I know she in that bathroom calling him right about now. So go yep. ahead and get ready. So Candace goes and sits at the table. Erica ends up going ahead and joining her a little later. We see everything going into place real good and real swiftly. Mm -hmm. We see Charles Obama, he's giving some kind of press conference or something that he's doing. I don't know if it was that same event that he was supposed to have been speaking about yeah, gun violence. Yeah, that's the or event. Or what it was. Yeah. But he was speaking about that at the same time. And he's going in on this spill about, you know, there's a family that has been affected by gun violence. You know, a little boy lost his life. I ain't very close to the family. At the same time, Hannah is walking by the TV. It was like. She said like, huh? He know my family? What the hell? And in my mind, like my B would say, I'm thinking. Hannah is thinking, okay. If he know my family, he got to be screwing my daughter. My, my son was just in jail and they was pulling this bullskin Homeland Security crap on him. Ding, ding, ding. That's, that's it. That's, that's, it, right that's it right there. So she looking at the TV like that's some goddamn bullskin. <laughs> and he said, you know, what, you know what? We need to go ahead and have a moment of silence for all the victims of gun violence right now. And especially this little boy as his family is grieving his loss. And at the same time that he doing this, we getting ready to get a whole, whole nother shooting. Brand new. Ward goes to sit down at the table. Him and Ken is looking at each other eyeball to eyeball. And she's having flashbacks mm -hmm. to everything he, he did, did to her. Yep. The shooting. And I'm like, how you having flashbacks about the shooting? You won't dare. But anyway, um, the yeah. raping, <laughs> all of that. Pop, 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 pop. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. He, Everybody but he saw him, floor. though. He saw him. And he yeah, was like, he saw him. And he had his, the, the eye skit look in his eye. Why did you walk into a Malone restaurant? If you any kind of G on the street, you know the other G's mm -hmm. on the street. When you saw the name... But you know what? You know kind of makes sense? That's why Mitch wanted to bring him to the new restaurant. Because he probably didn't put two and two together. The name is right there. But, I, but I'm saying he never put that together. He what we talking read. about war right now? He, he can't read. He was high. You know, he was just smoking a blunt. Oh, uh, no, no, no. His mind... When you smoke weed, that make you more concentrated. And his mind was focused on killing Candace. So he probably never even looked at the restaurant sign. He just knew. He just came to the address that Erica told him to come to. And he was going to take out Candace. That's all he cared about. Don't worry about it. Like we said. When we deal with Tyler. Matter. Yeah. Just keep looking for yeah, it. Yeah. Because <laughs> some stuff. Now, if she had been the old restaurant, he'd probably been like, oh, hell no. I ain't going, I ain't going over there. <laughs> 
But this restaurant right here looked like a freaking Cheesecake Factory. I can go in here. <laughs> Even though it's a Malone restaurant, but it looked like Cheesecake Factory. They ain't chased the side yet. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, did you get war? Because at one time I was looking, I was like, where war at? And I see the dude over the corner shooting. And I said, is that war shooting at them getting the back yeah. of them? But when all the dust settled, and then I said, well, where Mitch at? Don't you let Mitch get shot. I seen Mitch. He went and checked on Candace. Them two was all right. I said, whew, the yeah. family is they accounted for. The family is accounted for. But I think a lot of the, the guys that were doing the shooting got shot. They did. I don't care about them. I don't know them. But I'm confused because did War bring his guys in there? Yeah. They was uh. in there because it was the black guys that were shooting. It had to be. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. And next thing we know, here come Erica. Peeking on, the, peeking on the table like. I said, pull her from underneath for that yeah. and pop, pop, pop her too. But oh, no. Candace going to make her suffer. So, killing her, killing her be too easy. She gonna make her suffer. Yeah, so next thing we see next week, they go, it's not going in just there. Oh, she, said, she, she's sitting there like Jim Cry was in that basement. <laughs> That's, you gonna get a basement experience, you watch. And I said, well, where grandma at? Please don't tell me grandma got shot. I no. didn't, cause you know every time a shootout happens, somebody innocent get hit. We're well, oh, not innocent. No, grandma, 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 grandma probably, Queen B. Grandma she, probably ain't even there. Yeah, she ain't even there. She Queen B. She sent out the she sent out the worker bees to do the work. <laughs> she probably somewhere. It was like, no, she but, look like like ghosts. No, I was at the hotel. Yeah, she oh she gonna walk up on Urka though. You watch. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, that's she right. Cause yeah. the next yeah, week. she gonna walk up so on she Urka. Good. Yeah. And Candace is looking like, mm-hmm. And I just wanted War to open his eyes up but, and she could talk skit to him, kick him in the balls or something. But, but you got to remember that the Malone's had Candace too, so I'm trying to figure out how that going to play out. Yeah. Mama, did, Mama Jim had her, had her. Now, I don't know if she knew who they were. I don't know. But they because, definitely Because they had is. a bag over her head, you mom. Right. So I think she do know because I think, I think Jim was taunting her about the Malone's. But it don't matter because yeah. you have killed her enemy now. So y'all yeah, good? Yeah, they good. Wow. They, yeah. Young Benny finally got out of jail. And in true buck, bo <laughs> buck boy fashion, <laughs> mama, can you come, come pick, pick me, me up? up? I can't. But this was good. It was good for me that I'm starting to see the old bad B coming back. Yes, indeed. I hope Just she let that, 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 that theme stay for the rest of the season. Yeah. So it was good, y'all. And maybe I might come back next season. I don't know. Yeah, because I ain't making no promises. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if I'm even going to do Empire this year. You going to do yeah. Empire this year? You know we're going to do Empire. We always talk skip We talk about Empire. Uh -huh. We here. Look, Cookie and Lucius. We, we know we always here for them. If it ain't nothing else but to talk about Lucius, how I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I'm um, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla.